In this tutorial, we'll talk about using the new transcription feature in DualWriter 2.0. To get started, just click the Dictation tab. This shows you all of the speech recognition features, and in the middle is the Transcribe button. When you click Transcribe, it opens the transcription panel that contains the media player. Now, this media player is actually Windows Media Player. So any files that are supported by Windows Media Player can be used by DualWriter for transcription. But now this is completely built into DualWriter along with speech recognition. So it's all fully integrated. You can use them all together. DualWriter doesn't care where you keep your files, so you can just click the Open folder here and have your files anywhere. Select one to open it. Or if you click on the recently used menu here, you can select a media file that you have already played. Now this media file is Edwin O. Wilson giving a speech at the TED conference. When you open a media file, the media commands are activated. This button here will show and hide the tips. So hold it down if you don't want to see the tips or set it up and then you can show the tips. These commands are what you would expect. The stop command will stop play. Play pause will just play and then pause and then resume. Just click to go and click again to pause. The repeat button will repeat the same passage over and over as many times as you click it. So you can use this to catch difficult passages until you get them right. Then jump and skip will go forward and back in the file. The default is 10 seconds every you, time you click it. You, you can also use any control keys that you'd like to. Click the Options button and open up the Options window. Click Transcription and you can select the keys here. So any keys can be used. All you need to remember is that the shortcut keys that you use here are only active when the transcription panel is open. So you can use Control p to play and pause, and then later when you close the transcription panel, Control p will print your document as you would expect. Now you don't have to use Control or Shift. You can use, for example, the Tab key. That's a very convenient one, actually, to play and pause. Just click Tab, and that will start and stop the media player if you want to select that here. Now at the bottom of the Options window, you can set a value here for the resume playback offset. So usually when you're listening to someone speak and they begin a new sentence, that's when you pause the player. So you've already lost the very beginning of the sentence. So later when you click play again, you've missed it. So you have to try to rewind and get back to where you were. But with Dual Writer, you can set an offset so that the play is resumed from a point before you clicked pause and then that way you can always catch the beginning of sentences. Below that is the jump and skip defaults. These are 10 seconds by default but you can set them to anything you want. So let's close this and go back to the media player. You can also use voice commands to control the media player. I'll show you how to do it. So I clicked the Dictation button to turn on Dictation, and then I selected the mode. The mode is Transcribe Mode, and when you are in Transcribe Mode, the only things that Dual Writer will do are commands that control the media player. So you can say anything, it won't go into the document, it will just be disregarded by Dual Writer. The command you need to know is the word Go particularly you on the youngster side on go. this path you've chosen. Just say go to start and stop the media player. So your hands are completely free and you don't need a foot pedal or anything else. So I'll try it here. I'll just say go and see if I can do some transcribing with the keyboard. Go. The path you've chosen and to go as far as you can. The world needs you. Go. Bad. The task you've chosen. Period. I'll stop right there because I don't really want to do any more typing. I would really rather do dictation, but there's one more thing I want to show you first, and that's using the jump and skip keys with voice commands. Skip 20.
human body of the Skip thirty. To, um, even a Jump ten. Of the techno scientific Go. revolution. So jump and skip if you click the buttons default to 10. But when you say jump and skip, follow that by the number of seconds and how far you want to skip ahead or jump back in the file. Skip 30. <clears throat> Traditional fields of study. Jump 10. Are going to more decades it'll go. render the human con If you want to move through the file a long distance, you can say go to followed by the point in the file in minutes that you want to go to. Go to 10. Break out. Go to seven. The field and mathematical Go to eleven. And the quake come an expert. Go. There are okay, so now you know all the voice commands. You can say these commands as you type to do your transcription, or if you'd rather just dictate, then you can set the mode to dictation mode. In dictation mode, everything you say will go right into the document. So while you're in dictation mode, you can also use voice commands to control the media player at the same time. That takes a lot of practice. Or you can use key commands to control the media player while you dictate, or the mouse. I'll just do it with the mouse and show you how it's done. It's very simple. You just say back anything that you hear. There are thousands of professionally delimited subjects sprinkled. There are thousands of professionally delimited subjects. Subjects sprinkled through physics and chemistry to biology and sprinkled from physics to chemistry, biology and medicine, and on comma biology and medicine. And on then into the social sciences where and on then into the social sciences, period. Stop listening. There we go. I just said stop listening, and so now what I say won't go into the document. For a difficult subject like this one, you'll find that dictation is a great way to breeze through your work much faster than you could ever type it. Thank you. That concludes the demonstration of Dual Writer with the new transcription feature in version 2.0.